Hi guys! For this week, we will be learning about the repetition control structure in PHP programming. I believe that um, you already um, learned a lot from our previous lesson about the decision control structure. Um, this time, we'll be talking about the repetition structure in PHP. I would like to remind everyone that um, this topic, it's actually, um, I believe that I already discussed this one multiple times, but um, the approach in teaching the repetition structure this time um, through the use of the PHP scripting or the PHP codes. Okay, so let's get started. So if we will talk about looping, um, looping it's a uh, looping statement. It's a, it's actually a control structure that repeatedly executes a statement or a series of statements while a specific condition is true or until a specific condition becomes true. So again, uh, we are doing the looping statement because there are, um, there are some problems that needs to be um, there are some problems that needs to be resolved and there's a lot of problems that um, that contributes a lot of results okay so that's why we're using the looping statement so there are three types of looping statement that i will discuss for this topic first i will discuss about the while statement next the do while statement and lastly the for statement or the for loop Okay, so let me start with explaining the while statement. So while statements, it's actually a statement um, or a series of statements as long as a given conditional um, expression evaluates to true. Yeah, actually that's the purpose why um, looping exists because it will evaluate if the expression will become true. So if we will see uh, the, um, if we will check um, um, the flow chart of the while statement basically it will execute first the condition yeah it will execute first the condition after executing it if it's true it will do something then it will loop so if ever that the condition right now it's false that's the time that it will terminate the program okay so if you can see here in our syntax while condition it should be here that's actually the condition there and the statements should be here so basically for this one the code block it depends on you if you will um, if you will print something or if you will display something or um, you will proceed to the next processing okay it really um, it really depends on you and also guys don't forget to put the closing and uh, opening and closing braces okay so as long as the conditional expression evaluates to true the statement or command block that follows um, that follows executes repeatedly just like what i said earlier so i will show you an example right now i'm um, not yet so so if we will talk about the wild statement we need to talk about the iteration if we will talk about iteration iteration means um, each repetition of a looping statement, it's called an iteration. So for example, you're expecting to have five, uh, five repetition. So basically, it contains five iteration. Okay? A while statement keeps repeating until its conditional expression evaluates to false. So if ever that the statement or the condition will become false, that's the time that it will go out to the loop. Okay, if we will talk about counter, counter is a variable that increments or decrements with each iteration of a loop um, of a loop statement. So basically, later on, um, you will discover that counter is also very important in each um, in in our code or in our coding style if we will use looping statement. Okay, let's proceed. So this is actually the example that I got from the internet. But later on, eh, we have three activities for the while statement. So I will just discuss this one uh, without any PHP code. Um, for this one, I oh know the, the, the opening, sorry, 
I forgot the opening PHP here. I also forgot the closing PHP here. So basically, the purpose of this code, um, it will display 1 to 5. Then it will print 5 numbers here. So you have printed 5 numbers. So if we will check the code, we have the counter. It's equivalent to 1. It's, um, it also means that we started with 1. So if ever that this one started with 0, of course, we need to put, um, we need to initialize the count or variable count to 0. Okay? So while um, variable count, it's less than or equal to 5, what it, what it will do, what should be the expression inside, um, what is the condition if, uh, what, what, should be what is the expression if the result of the condition is true so first it will display of course the count then it will do count plus 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 count or plus plus variable count it's also equivalent to variable count plus plus okay that's actually the same okay so basically for this one it will display from 1 to 5. But if ever that you will remove the equal sign here, it will display up until what? Okay, so basically for this one, it will display 1, of course, 2, 3, 4. So if that's 4, um, added 1. So 5, is it less than 5? It's false. So basically, it will terminate the program and it will display this one. So basically, for this one, it should should say 4. Okay? So let's move to our activity number 1. So we will now create a PHP script that looks the same as the figure. So if we will do a face-to-face, -face, I, I wanted you to create um, or to solve this problem for only five minutes but for now since I will be explaining this one um, it seems that it will exceed five minutes okay so again what should be the output now the value of so I will be using int a as my variable name then of course this one so 0 to 10 okay so let me try wait me to Pull up my one moment and my Visual Studio code. One moment. Okay, so actually, guys, since I will be resolving three activities for the while statement, um, I I will be inserting um, um I will be inserting three buttons in our first page. Then our second page, which contains all the PHP code, um, we uh, I will do some um, validation and a lot more. Okay, so I want you to um, understand my discussion because basically this will um, give you an idea what is our project. Okay, so let me start. Uh, let me say this first. Sorry. It should be, yeah. Okay, so all um, looping activities.php. Okay. Let me make it bigger. Okay, let me start. So let me make it. Mm-hmm. There we go. There. So using the doc type the HTML. So I need to be insert uh, I will insert head and in the head I will put here all looping I'm oh, sorry all looping activities okay title 
next i'll be inserting the body just like what i said earlier um, um in this uh, in this file um all of the php i'm uh, sorry all of the html codes here meaning i'll be inserting all the buttons all the forms needed here on the other side or on the other um, file um, all the PHP codes will be there so basically I need to use a form action am I right there so first things first form action sorry then the method since I need to be um, I will assume that each value that will be asked or that I will be asking from the user are all confidential so I will be using um, post okay after that I'll be um, I'll be creating first um, activity one enter a value one moment then I'll be putting the input type which is the, oh, sorry this should be text box after the text box here I'll be naming this one as um, num1 because it will ask for the first number okay next I'll be inserting now um, the submit button then the value of course it should be sorry uh -huh. it should be submit then I'll be using a name uh, this should be button 1 Oh, I forgot the there. Mm -hmm. Take note on this one, guys, because why did I use button one here? Because there is actually a correlation in the next um, in the next um, file that I'll be creating. Okay, so I'll be saving this. After saving this, I need to create another file. Um, I'll be saving this one as all PHP codes all right I'll put in one na lang. okay so for the form action it should be one dot PHP okay there we go so first thing that I need to do in the one dot PHP I will be integrating as well um, the form validation uh, let me uh, we need to make sure that the user or um, we need to make sure that the user inputted uh, should input something in the text box okay but let me show you first the form right now mm -hmm. okay so basic basically this is the form that we created so for example if the user will input something once you click the submit button it will proceed to the next page and it will display your expected um, this one it will display this one but if ever that the user will not input something in the text um, he or she um, directly um, click the submit button um, there should um, it, it should show something that's part of the form validation okay so first thing that I need to do of course sorry PHP there next so if e set uh, uh, e set I need to put here first what did I use gun it um, button one okay if e set button one I'm oh, sorry e set if e set button one then if I'll be putting here not empty so meaning if if the text box contains a uh, a value it will do this execution so what is my there num one 
I'll be using num1. There you go. Okay. So again, once the user will click the button, then our um, one.php will also validate if the num1, which is the text box, contains a value. If there is no value inserted, of course, it will show um, echo. Uh -huh. I'll be putting um, you have not entered a value. And I'll be putting br because um, I'll be inserting the, um, the link to go back. Okay, so go after that one. I use double um, double quotation here. Then in here, I'll be using a one single quotation or single quotation only. I'll be inserting the page, uh, the HTML code, which is the href. However, I need to need I need to get this one, the link for our for example the the home page. Okay, double quotation there. There we go. Then close that. Then I'll put here. I'll put here back. Then, after the back, of course, I need to um, close the A and put the semicolon. Okay, let's try testing this one. So, for example, uh, the user just um, directly click the submit button. Oh, what's wrong? Hmm. If else let me check this one mm -hmm. oh wait for a while i forgot that there should be another there there you go so i have three opening um opening um a parenthesis then I should have three closing parentheses let me go back refresh it then when I click submit it's still not working let me double check if I use button number one here okay that's correct inset this is correct if inset button one then empty then value ah let me continue with this one first okay first thing that i need to do here um the value of okay so i will be getting the um value from the text box so basically here i need to create um, value one then this should be coming from the this should be coming from the button no it should be coming from the num one it should be coming from the num one there so after this one i'll be creating another value because this is actually the third this is actually the counter for example, it's zero. Since if you will check the PHP code, uh, sorry, the um, it started with zero, right? So I'll be putting the counter zero or the int a to become the zero. I'll put count a na lang, zero. Okay, so while um, while um, count a it should be less than the value one what should it do so it will echo um now the value let me check now the value of the value of mm -hmm. 
int no count no i use int a mong good so i need to yeah i need to use int a so i'll be changing this one to int a ah, okay now the value of int a is of course should be int a there then semicolon okay and also don't forget since we need to have increment upon checking it incremented right so we need to increment this one so we need to increment the value one or the int one of course we need to increment the int a plus plus okay let me try solving this one i'm oh, sorry let me try running it okay look a host there so when i click this enter for example what is expected here so i should enter 10 for example i input 10 oh what's wrong hmm To double check my key here, I'm actually using here. I mean, form action, then activity one. I use the dr, then form action. It's one ph, one the php. Then I use post, enter a value. This is a text box. Then num one. I use num one here. After the num1, wait for a while, I use the submit button that contains a value submit. The name is actually button1. Okay, there. So, 1.html. Again, form action, it's 1.php. Sorry, 1.php. For this one, let me double check if I made a mistake so i use php here if asset i use button one of course okay then if not empty num one is correct this is correct okay echo Go. Then I'll be inserting this one along the also here. Okay, one moment. Then after that, I need to I need to insert the else there. And basically, this should work. What's wrong? Let me double check. Localhost. Um, submit. There you go. It's working now. Um, you have not entered a value. Go back. Then, for example, I will input 10. And click submit. Oh, what's wrong? Ah, I did not put VR. I need to put VR here. Okay, refresh it there we go so it's working fine right so I need to insert another BR okay next there we go so I should be entering 11 here I need to enter 11 okay 11 so that it will display 0 2 10 okay so we already resolved the activity number one let's proceed to activity number two um, we need to um, create a php script that looks the same as the figure so in activity number one it's actually incrementing in activity number two um, it is actually decrementing okay so for this one i'll be adding another one moment Oh, no, I need to use 
um, BR here, another BR. Copy this one. And activity number two. And I'll be changing the variable name to num2. Also the variable name for submit button to button2. Okay, so in here, one moment. Okay, so in here, I'll be creating another if statement. Um, this basically would still be the same just like that. Eset then um, post. It will check um, if the user clicked the button number two. It should go directly and check if the um, wait for a while if the num2 which is the text box contains a value or not okay there so of course we need to do the else here uh, I'll be copying this one okay there we go okay so what should be our code here so since this is actually decrementing so what should we do first thing that we need to do of course um, we need to um, create a variable in PHP that will get this num2 right so uh, wait for a while so uh, we need to create um, value to then post uh, basically this is the num2 semicolon then after this we need to create the while now so while um, value 2 is greater than 0 then we need to echo um, the value 2 of course we need to put the br and semicolon then okay since this is decrementing of course we need to decrement the value 2 so by using value 2 minus minus okay so let me check and the user should also have the option to um sorry we need to put here the echo for the i in the echo we need to put here countdown and as well uh, I'll be copying this one <coughs> sorry okay okay let's try if this will work so go back to the local host click there so once I will click submit directly of course it will show something like this so once yeah I will put here 10 so click submit so basically um, it displayed 1 to 10 oh, 10 to 1 then put the countdown here right so why did I use this specific code for the while because basically um, if the user will input 10 um, we need to check or we need to create a condition that will check if the inputted value is greater than zero upon checking um, you're actually putting one here so if you want you can actually put um, greater than or equal to one so if that's the case um, if I will refresh this one it would still um, um, it would still um, printed the one because of the equal sign okay but if I'll use zero if I change that one to zero there so it printed 10 to zero okay but for this one I'll be using one and why did I use decrement of course it is uh, why did I use value to minus minus because again I'm decrementing okay so that sounds great 
So let's proceed to the last activity in the while statement. So create a PHP script still that looks the same as the figure. So counter 1, count 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So if you will see the algorithm or the formula for this one, how, how did I get, um, how will we um, print something like this? Basically, we are multiplying by 2, right? So 2 plus, uh, two, plus uh, 2 times 2, it's 4. 4 times 2, it's 8. 8 times 2, it's 16. 16 times 2, it's 32. 32 times 2, it's 64. So as since we already understood um, the process or the algorithm and how to get this, um, it also we already... Um, got the formula all we need to do is to go back I'll be changing this uh, I'll be copying this one but I'll be changing this one to 3 num 3 of course and button 3 for the one that PHP it's still the same I'll be copying this one need to close that So if here else I need to copy this one okay there we go so basically here I need to change this one to three after changing this one to three uh -huh, I need to create um, a value so I need to create now a value so uh -huh. um, value 3 should be post then num3 after that of course I need to use I already no I did not use count so I'll be using count here so this is 1 then after this one, I'll be, one moment, so, one moment, mm -hmm. count should be here, then less than or equal to the value 3, then here, what should I print, count 1, so echo, um, count, One moment. Count. Then. Count. Then after this one, I'll be multiplying the count times 2. Let's see. Or, aside from multiplying by 2, I'll wait. No, it should be multiplied by 2. Okay. Let's see if this will also work. Oh, wait. I forgot that I need to put something. Yeah. I also need to put something like this at the bottom part so that it will go back to the home page. It should be outside the closing bracket. Okay. One moment. Let me double check. Oh, wait for a while. Oh, I already have. There we go. So let me go back. Let me run the program. Okay, let me click all looping activities. So when I click submit button directly, this is correct. So I need to input 100. So once I cl click submit, oh, what's wrong with this? Mm -hmm. Okay, I forgot that I need to use the this one. Let's see. That's why it's wrong. One moment. Mm -hmm. The one that we experienced earlier that's actually an example of an infinite loop. 
meaning walang katapusan so for example I'll input 100 okay there it's working but I forgot to put dr double check there you go so another dr for this one wait 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 no I need I don't need that I need to put dr here okay one moment there we go so what if I inputted 124 okay it's 124 I will input 124 124 no it should be 125 let's see no it's still not working 64 times 2 eh, it's 128 that's why Click submit. There we go. Okay, so 128 times 2, it's um, 256, right? 256. There, it's working. So, for example, I will input 300. It will only display up until 300, um, 256. There. 